the setting couldn't have been more idyllic. I really was euphoric thinking what a wonderful day this was. Not ever expecting that I was going to encounter an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Well, I wanted a photograph. The light was right, and I had my camera with me. I took several photographs of the snake. You know, at that point, that should have been sufficient. And I'll never know why I decided I had to pick the snake up. Oh, nice snake. Hello. Bruce found a stick to pin the snake's head. What he didn't realize was the stick's too short. Okay, baby. He's dealing with a snake that doesn't want to be examined and won't hesitate to voice its displeasure if it senses an opening. And it does. Mm. Mm. At first, mm. the pain was nothing more than a pinprick. But the moment the venom enters Bruce's bloodstream, it begins attacking his tissues and cells, setting off a chain reaction that could paralyze his entire system. Knowing the clock is ticking, Bruce begins a frantic race to get back to civilization. He'll have to manage the half-mile walk to the kayak, and then almost a mile paddle to get to the mainland. And as I was going, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. It's been nearly 20 minutes since the bite. And Bruce knows a viper's venom can kill a man in as little as an hour. So I said, you've got to not panic. Don't think about how long a paddle it will be to get to shore. Don't think about you're all alone. Don't think about you could die. When I got to shore, I couldn't get out of the kayak. I was totally paralyzed from the leg down. And you're trying to keep as low as you can, and you, you inch yourself along the ground. You know, you're wiggling your body back and forth and pulling with your arms. He's lost control of his lower muscles. And the venom is close to paralyzing one of his most critical organs, his diaphragm which will stop his breathing. His body is beginning its final breakdown. He's fighting for his life. His only hope is to make it to a hospital with a supply of the right antivenom. Nearly an hour after being bitten, Bruce lurches a mile down the road to find help. And he does, barely. But by the time he arrives at a hospital, he'll need 26 units of antivenom to save his life. Bruce is extremely lucky to be alive. The bite easily could have killed him if he hadn't stayed focused and calm. Despite his close call, Bruce is still chasing down and studying these deadly creatures. <laughs> constantly putting himself in the danger zone. When you uh, put a transmitter in the mouth and, and, and gently massage it in the stomach, I got my fingers awfully close to the working end, so I've <laughs> learned to use a pair of forceps to manipulate this. While I gently slide it in there a little ways, and she's feeling that. There is a bit of a danger even now for me working with these animals. I mean, I love them, I empathize with them, I understand them. And you know, familiarity in this case drops my guard. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> 